It be just too upsetting for some people to attend the funeral in person. So the city of Bristol has two options if you would like to watch in a group. For more on that, let's bring in Channel 3's Dylan Fearon. He is live in Bristol right now with more on what people can do tomorrow if they can't make it to East Hartford. Dylan. Right, Mark, two options. Bristol Eastern High School and the Bristol Public Library downtown will be streaming tomorrow's events. And just from speaking to people in town today at the memorial by the police department, it seems they'll be taking advantage of that. Some people told us it's just going to be too painful and upsetting to be there in person. It's been more than a week since tragedy hit this tight-knit, heartbroken city. But the genuine warm support hasn't stopped. The gifts, the balloons, even a lunch just to show we're thinking of you. This is what our community does. The memorial outside Bristol Police Headquarters continues to grow. More flowers, more signs. Some are very emotional seeing the support up close. This woman puts her arm around her friend, consoling her. There are some emotions that have to come out. Many people here in the last week will be watching Friday's funeral for the fallen officers. The city is giving you two opportunities to watch in a comfortable group setting if being there in person is just too upsetting. Bristol Eastern High School is streaming tomorrow's events with the district closing school. If you live near downtown, you can also watch the funeral at the public library. Tammy and Sandy think it'll be too painful in person. I will watch it on TV. I don't want to go there. You know, I just, just stay home and do it in my own home. But I'll probably stay home and watch it on TV where I can just do my own thing and pray my own way. More support tonight. This man writing a sincere note on the police cruiser. On the other side, someone wrote, we love and miss you both so much. Thank you for saving Alec. You are my heroes. I am saddened by what's happened, but every day I wake up and I feel better about the hope and the future for the city. You heard Tammy and Sandy there. They'll be watching at home tomorrow. So will many others. We will be carrying tomorrow's funeral live on Channel 3, streaming as well on WFSB Plus with coverage beginning at 9 o'clock. We're live in Bristol tonight. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.